Hello, this is Eric from AD Racing Central. The Steam exclusive Ballistic NG is probably one of the best anti-gravity racing games you can play on a computer. The game has, among other things, super tight controls, excellent track design, and a dedicated modding community, resulting in nearly endless content. The game also does a very good job of looking a lot like the Wipeout games from the PlayStation 1 era, also meaning that the game is not all that demanding from a graphics department. But how old can a computer be and still be able to run the game properly? That's what I'm going to try and find out in this video, as I'm going to try Ballistic NG out on my very old laptop I bought from work several years ago. Let's get started. Alright, here we are at the Steam page. We can see the recommended requirements for Windows. 64-bit processor, 4GB RAM of memory. That's really not a lot by today's standard, so we might be fine actually. Let's open up this computer. This is an i3 processor, 4 GB of RAM and 64 bits operating system. This computer has actually got the recommended requirements for Ballistic NG. But how well will it run? Let's boot up the game and see. Yeah, the game is starting up now. We have definitely got some stutters in the sound. But now it's looking quite good actually. Yeah, this computer, I bought it from my old, I work as a teacher, and this was one of the, the graduating students' old computers. So the computer was three years old when I bought it, and that was, I don't know, four years ago. And even back then, it was a low-spec, cheap, non-gaming computer. So we'll see how it works with this game. If it works well on this computer, it's quite remarkable that you can play this super good game on more or less any old machine. All right, let's see here. Yeah, just just pick this race. Yeah, let's go with the, with weapon. I didn't adjust the graphics or anything. It was a default setting. Many games today they usually sort of read what kind of computer you have and they adjust the the graphics settings that are most appropriate. The <laughs> yeah, these <laughs> trees are really roll less. And we're off. Mm, I'd say we can see some frame rate dips and some wall bumping as well. Mm, I'm playing on a gaming monitor, so I'm not really experiencing any input lag. And we're airborne. There, I got some stutter. I guess a lot of stuff hampered, you landed and the weapons and explosion at the same time. I'm not using autopilot. Judging from experience while playing this game with the Steam Deck, um, this feels a bit sub-optimal for sure, but it is playable. What is boosting a bit here? Whoa, -ho, we're airborne. Yeah, let's see how the game handles the boost. Boosting. Yeah, that experience was solid. I'm not too sure, but I read in some frame rate dips. I'm not sure it was uh, 60 FPS all the time. We're gonna try another race, just to be sure. Yeah, I guess we're gonna pick another ship as well. Hyperion. Let's see how the graphics compartment that this computer handles the snow. Let me listen as well. Yeah, the fan is going quite loudly as well. <laughs> I'm not sure how much this computer will like playing this game for prolonged sessions or any game at all for that matter. Yeah, the graphic is scaled down compared to when I play on Steam Deck. That's for sure. And maybe not a super solid frame rate, but, but it is playable. <laughs> Which is quite remarkable. I mean... Oh yeah, now we have some frame rate tips. Yeah, I'd say... And there are some more frame rate tips here. Yeah, if you're gunning for the world records, I don't think you should be playing on uh, this type of computer. Even though the computer does meet the, the recommended requirements. Yeah. 
Uh, frame rate took some hits there. Yeah, when I'm done with this test, I will probably try the game out on my newer work computer <laughs> with an i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM. But I'd say that Ballistic NG is playable on a very old, non-gaming, cheap laptop. Actually, it was sub-optimal, but if you really, really want to try the game out and all you have is an old laptop playing around, I'd say it's worth giving it a shot, that's for sure. If you want to watch a video where I tried Ballistic NG out for the very first time, then click on the video appearing on screen right now. But that will be for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Eric from AD Racing Central and I'll see you in the next video.